Black Myth Wukong has looked like one of the most promising non-From Software additions to the Souls-like genre ever since it was first unveiled roughly four years ago. But as the rollout of information on the action RPG has continued in the lead-up to its imminent release in August, developer Game Science has revealed that it is, in fact, not entirely a Souls-like after all. Make no mistake, Black Myth Wukong will have more than a few things in common with your traditional Souls likes, but it will in other ways also deviate from the genre's established formula, sometimes in significant ways, other times in ways that are more subtle. Here, we're going to go over a few of those differences. Faster Combat this one is perhaps a bit more nebulous than some of the others, but seeing as it's going to apply to the majority of the experience, it makes sense to kick things off with it. The traditional Souls-like game that the mind conjures up when you think of the genre is one that generally revolves around slower combat with methodical and deliberate movements, but Black Myth is looking to be much faster in its moment-to-moment -moment pacing. Everything from regular movements to attacks to the more high-flying abilities in the game will be faster and more bombastic than what the genre traditionally has you doing. More Linear Level design isn't something that all Souls likes necessarily have the exact same approach to without fail, with different games going for different styles. But without some obvious notable exceptions, like the open world of Elden Ring, there's traditionally a style of world that you associate the genre with. A semi-open, wide, linear one, one with winding interconnected paths, and a bevy of shortcuts, hidden pathways, secrets, and what have you. In this area, however, Black Myth Wukong is heading in a different direction. Though there will, of course, be branching paths, secrets, hidden bosses, and the like, the game is otherwise going to be a mission-based one and will offer a much different kind of experience from an exploration perspective. Weapons this is another area where Black Myth Wukong might not scratch the exact Souls-like itch, because rather than focusing on the extreme build diversity, a lot of which boils down to having different weapon types to experiment with, it'll have players focusing on just one main weapon type. that being protagonist Wukong's staff. In that regard, Black Myth Wukong is going to be more like Bloodborne and Sekiro than other Souls likes, since it will challenge players to master a very specific style of combat, rather than offering the freedom to approach duels in a variety of different ways. Limited Progression Black Myth Wukong's more guided and curated approach to action also manifests in its progression mechanics, which are also much less focused on build diversity and player expression than the likes of Dark Souls or Elden Ring, or even something like, say, Lies of P. Players will be unlocking upgrades across a total of three skill trees, each dictating a specific category of upgrades, which by default means more limited gameplay options than a system where you're simply pumping points into different stats and attributes. Unlike the average Souls-like, you can also put points into your skill tree whenever you want by simply heading to the menu, rather than only being able to do so at specific checkpoints. Meanwhile, Black Myth will also deviate from the traditional Souls-like way of doing things in the gear department by having all loot color-coded on the basis of their rarity. De-emphasized blocking with Black Myth Wukong's combat being faster than your typical Souls-like experience, this one makes sense once you think about it. The focus on blocking that you see being placed by most games in the genre won't be a thing here. Instead, this is a game that's much more focused on dodging. which also cannot be spammed because after three dodges in quick succession, you basically need to cycle through a lengthy recovery window. On the other hand, perfect dodges are a thing, so there's that. All said, the flow of combat promises to be significantly changed with this focus on dodges over blocks and parries. Punishment for Death
one of the characteristics most strongly associated with Souls-like games is how they punish death by sending you back to your last checkpoint, bonfire, sight of grace, lamps, or whatever else they're called, and taking all of your unspent XP away from you. Black Myth Wukong will do that as well, but not entirely the way most other games in the genre do. Specifically, the game will only take away a portion of your XP upon death, which should make things feel much less punishing and should also make it much easier to grind. Approach to Difficulty In general, Black Myth's approach to difficulty isn't necessarily exactly what you would expect from your regular Souls-like. Game Science has, of course, made it a point to emphasize that the game is going to be plenty challenging for those looking for that sort of experience that pushes back against the player, especially where its bosses are concerned. Well, there also aren't going to be any difficulty levels, but it also doesn't look like Black Myth Wukong will be quite as focused on being a grueling gauntlet of challenge like most games in the Souls-like space tend to be. Pausing Weirdly enough, the last decade and a half has turned the player's inability to pause into a genre staple for Souls-likes. If you're someone who's been hoping for that particular eccentricity to go away, you're in luck. Developer Game Science has confirmed that Black Myth Wukong will let you pause the action whenever you want, so go ahead and take all the breaks you need. Transformations the transformations mechanic is one of Black Myth Wukong's most standout mechanics, and one that potentially can set it apart from the vast majority of other Souls-likes, or Souls-like adjacent games. Effectively, this mechanic lets you turn into select mini-bosses, and bosses that you fight and defeat throughout the course of your journey. Upon transforming, you temporarily take on the form of one such past foe, which gives you access to their moves and abilities. Gleefully bombastic abilities such as Black Myth's transformations aren't something we see too much of in the Souls-like space, so we're excited to see what they bring to the table. More Direct Storytelling with Demon's Souls, From Software pioneered a style of storytelling that, over the course of subsequent years, it has perfected to a T with many games, to the extent where millions and millions of dedicated fans spend endless hours of their lives poring over every detail of those games' lore. That style has been replicated in many other Souls-likes to varying degrees of success, though it seems Black Myth Wukong wants to play by different rules, rather than the cryptic, indirect, deliberately foggy style of storytelling that Souls-like games are generally known for, Black Myth will instead be much more direct and traditional with its narrative and how it tells it. And with that, we reached the end of the video. Have anything to say? Let us know in the comments below. Also, we upload new videos every single day on Gaming Bolt, so please consider subscribing as it really helps us out. Thanks for watching.